What is your weirdest experience while going to the gym? Red hoodie guy would come into the gym always wearing the same red hoodie. He would hit the treadmill at 8, 10 miles per hour and just geo. He could keep this pace for 30 minutes, but never seemed to get exhausted. Here's where it gets weird he must have had headphones on under the hoodie, because he would dare guitar and headbang the entire time. Imagine a guy running at full tilt, while shredding on an air guitar, non-stop, for half an hour, not breathing heavily or grunting, before abruptly stopping and walking out of the gym. This man is an anon character. <laughs> Saw a guy on a stair climber wearing sunglasses and a leather jacket. Good to know the fun still takes care of himself. I accidentally put my number code into another lock that was beside mine. Botch the last number in the lock actually opened. 1, 2, 3, 4. That's the same as my luggage code. I remember a guy would spit and lick his hands before lifting weights or using machines and wouldn't clean it afterwards. Then even weirder he would straight up moan like he was effing while lifting the heavier weights. It was weird and gross. Someone sound the lunk alarm. I got literally flexed on. I saw a girl who I mistook as somebody I knew, went to say hi. She was cool about it, said it's happened before. Then a guy came over and said something going on here and literally just flexed. I've never had a bad experience at the gym before, but this dude was above and beyond. Always see them together now. Dude must have some redeeming qualities about him. Maybe that was the first time they met, and she immediately fell in love with him due to how hard he flexed his muscle. A guy at a very nice luxury gym was not just dropping his squats, he was actively throwing them up and letting them drop 4 plus feet to the safety rack causing a ridiculously loud sound and a crash. When I asked him to stop he was extremely aggressive and rude, and said he had been a member for 10 years. Management ended up kicking him out about 10 minutes later. Sir, we've only been open 5 years. Years ago I was newly signed up at a gym. On my first day of a real workout I am approached by a woman who proceeds to tell me off about what I do not know I explain I do not know her, nor do I know what she is talking about, and she says very snidely, oh it must be your twin sister then who is the bitch I said yes, everywhere my sister go she creates headaches for me, I have no sister, and from that point on the woman sort of follows me around the gym every time. We are there at the same time commiserating about what a bitch sister I have, and how I'm nothing like her thank god. Next time you should pretend to be your bitchy sister, and tell her off. I was leaving the other day for the showers and a girl, maybe 21, never spoken to her before, comes off the treadmill to speak to me, and the following conversation ensued, huh, are you going back to your car? Me, yes sir, are you parked at the one you have to pay for? Me, you have to pay for all of them her, huh? is it the one outside? Not multi-stories, me, there's four that are outside her, huh? is it far me? Explain the location to try, and progress the conversation to a conclusion, huh? Okay then, don't worry, me, bye. No context, no nothing. To this day I can't figure out what her angle was, but it was very weird. Edit, seems she was either flirting, getting stalked or trying to find the driver she hit. I'll take those odds. I'm going to bestow upon you a simple phrase that will immeasurably improve the quality of your life. Why do you ask? I was on the treadmill waiting for the only squat rack to open up. A guy was holding it up talking to some other guy, and they talked for like 15 minutes. I was about to ask if I could work in, and then they started praying. Other guy put his head down, and squat guy put his hands on other guy's shoulders, and started praying and doing that loud huffing between sentences southern baptist preachers do. And then another guy walked up, to get in on the action. At the loaded squat rack. I just went, and worked my legs on the machines. Lord, bless these gains we are about to receive. Back in the early 1980s and late 1970s, I used to work out a Gold's Gym in a western Canadian city. The gym was also the favorite workout spot for professional wrestlers when they were doing a gig in town. The weirdest thing was seeing how dramatically different some of these guys were in real life compared to their wrestling personas. 
One guy whose persona was of a British dock worker type would show up at the gym in a three-piece suit, edit, no he didn't work out in a suit, and speaking the poshest of British accents, and was constantly giving other wrestlers investment and tax advice. Apparently he was an accountant as well. What was surprising was that some of them weren't faking it, but in real life they were as rude, selfish and ignorant as their characters. I also remember how sad was seeing how some of the older wrestlers were really suffering from dementia, probably cumulative effects of concussions, and were literally guided through everything by other wrestlers, even simple things like getting dressed. I was impressed by the care some these guys gave to their older colleagues who needed constant attention. However, the most interesting experience was Jess Ventura. Of course when the wrestlers showed up, they were generally followed around by a horde of fans, usually teenage boys. Some were hostile to their fans, telling them to FCK off, others gave a quick acknowledgement, and then moved on. However, Jess would spend an incredible amount of time with his fans, especially the younger ones, listening and talking to all of them with total attention. I remember seeing him trying to do leg presses, while taking questions from a crowd of boys about what it means to be a man. Even back then, when he was just the heel Jess the body, out of the ring he showed that he understood the impact that he could have as a role model to young men, and took it seriously. When he became governor of Minnesota, I was definitely not surprised. As a Minnesotan, we are kinda proud of Jess. Somehow he became our governor, and didn't F it up, because he was smart enough to hire the right people, and delegate correctly. Occasionally, I still hear him on 93X, our local rock station. The woman who was hanging out in the locker room in her underwear. She was there when I came in, and still there an hour later. Someone told me she was probably an egg model doing a selfie photo shoot. I'm pretty sure at the YMCA where I used to work there were old dudes who came just to be naked in the locker room. There was no sauna or steam room in the locker room. Just lockers changing area, bathroom, sinks, showers. I'd get there an hour or so before my shift, lifeguarding, to work out. Old naked dude in the locker room. I'd finish my workout, and go to shower, and change into my lifeguard stuff. Same old naked dude still there. I'd go to the locker room, to pee during my break. Still same old naked dude there. We'd be closing up, and I'd have to go clear out any stragglers in the men's locker room. That told Jude is finally putting his clothes on to leave. It was really effing weird. <laughs> Old man jerking off in the shower. I don't use open locker rooms anymore. Did he dry his bullsack and taint with the head rear afterwards, all while completely naked, making eye contact with everyone in the locker room? Because if so, I think we went to the same gym. <laughs> I hate to run, but run about a mile a day at a 10 minute mile pace before I go and do weights. Like, I hate it so much I wish for a heart attack to take me away at about minute 4. In a case, the treadmills at our gyms have big timers on them that are easy to read. I get on the treadmill one day and see that the guy beside me is running a 5k, a preset on the machine, and has been on for about 4 minutes. But he's going fast, like full out sprint. I punch in my 12 minutes, 10 minute mile plus 2 minute cooldown, and start to run. We finish at the same time. Dude ran a 5k in about 16 minutes. Full on sprint the whole time. I was just kinda in a daze thinking about it for the rest of my workout. I ran a 5k once, and saw a guy do this right in front of me. It was an out and back loop trail, and I'm just coming up on the halfway mark of the out portion and here this dude comes like a refing freight train just steaming down the back portion full speed. My wife and I just looked at each other like what the f. There's a regular at my gym who always gets stares. She's pretty much built like a stick and she's an older woman in her mid 50s. I've seen her a couple of times doing this workout. She literally spends no more than 30 to 45 secs on each machine and does them with the worst form I've ever seen in my life as fast as she possibly can. For example, on the cable pull down, she'll pull the handle to her neck level, let it raise to about nose level and pull it down again. She'll do this move of about 3 to 4 of motion, just as fast as she possibly can for about 30 to 45 secs. Then she'll move as fast as she can to the leg press which she'll fully extend her legs, and with her legs nearly extended she'll just bounce the weight over and over. At no point does she return anywhere close to the start position until she's done after another 30 to 45 secs. 
then she'll go to the treadmill or the rowing machine or something, and do that with the worst possible form. After about 5 minutes, she's done and she'll quit and leave. There was a guy just like this at my gym. Way too much weight, and would only move the bar about 6 inches back and forth in a jerking, violent motion. Just shake my head and move on. I was running on the treadmill and there was this scruffy guy all hunched down like 3 treadmills away, and he kept loudly muttering to himself you can do it, you got this, and making weird noises. He kept doing it for like 20 minutes. At first I was like annoyed, cause he was rather loud, and it was weird, but after about 10 minutes I distractedly started thinking to myself I can do this. I got this. He was an intentionally inspiring to me. Similar to this, there's a guy at my gym who's older, maybe 50s, but seems to be in decent shape, and is loud with his treadmill affirmations. However, his technique, he turns the treadmill up to about 12 miles per hour, supports his entire body weight on the rails, and then just flails his legs on the belt for about a minute or two. Then he steps off, so his feet are on either side of the belt, towels himself off, gives off a few loud, woos, and all rights, and then leans right back onto the rails, and flails those legs again onto the belt some more. He keeps this up for about an hour, and I think he's convinced that he could do a 3 hour treadmill marathon. I swear my gym is actually a gateway into the fee. One time I saw a fit man with impeccable, flowing locks stare himself down in the mirror. He just kept saying yes. And growling a bunch. Then he went over to the stretching area and did what could only be described as jazzercise while listening to aggressive hip hop on his headphones so loud I could hear it from the squat rack. Periodically, he'd holler out grunts and hype sounds and curse words with the music. I'm pretty sure he was links in a human body. One time I'm on the bench and I hear two dudes, you look effing amazing bro, you're the best looking dude in this gym. Nah, you are bro. I turn around after a set, and they're identical twins. There's this old guy who wears a toupee to the gym. It's hideous, like he decided, when he bought his wig I'll be ginger now, but he's like a swarthy Mediterranean white dude. When he works out, the toupee wax that affixes it to his bald skull melts, and runs down the sides of his head. He never seems to mind. That twin story is gold. I wonder how often they've done that. A woman who measures 2 meters lifts a dwarf, as if he were a weight. I cannot make the jump. You'll have to toss me. I saw a guy in the corner with a 1000 yard stare just frozen in the locker room. I used to work with homeless and rehabilitation, and there's a certain look I've gotten used to that's hard to explain. It's the I'm an addict, and I'm about to F up my life and all the progress I've made, so that I can score look. This kid had that same look. So I went over and talked to him, wearing a swimsuit, goggles, and my flip flops. There's a certain pushiness that come with a rhyme a stranger who thinks you're about to F up your life, so let's talk about it, even though you don't want to talk about it kind of conversation. Turns out I was right. The guy had been clean for two months and life was falling apart, and he just wanted a good score of heroin. So I talked him down. I talked about how he had a bunch of white chips. You get a white chip for 24 hours of sobriety, but hardly in reds. One month, or golds, two months. I told him that he's closer than he's ever been to getting a green, three month, and that I'd be thrilled to see him get that. I have a pretty clean keychain that goes through all the colors once, different program with different colors, but same idea, which makes a pretty good conversation piece for folks waffling on recovering. I even had him hand over his stash, so he wouldn't use it once he got home. Damn, salute. I go to the gym at lunch and my office is somewhat close to a good sized university, so some of the college students also gym there, since it's cheap and close. One day I was at the gym with a work buddy, we were alternating sets on the butterfly machine which was right in front of a row of treadmills. There were a few folks on the treadmill, an older guy I'd say in his mid 50s and a college aged women two treadmills away from the older guy, they're wearing t-shirts and shorts of the local college. The women are running pretty hard, doing some interval work. After a few sets, the woman closest to the old guy lifts her shirt to wipe her forehead sweat off, she's not wearing anything underneath said shirt. The older guy looks over and notices this and promptly stumbles on the treadmill and shoots backward onto the floor about 5 feet. 
I'm in the middle of my rep when this all happens, and I can't stop laughing. My gym buddy turns around at all the noise of the guy falling over. The two women immediately run to the bathroom giggling. I still wonder if this was all some kind of prank or just an accident. Never saw those two at the gym again. Who the F runs without a bra? Straight up pain. NSFW. Moving to a new place, no friends night life, so went to the gym twice a day. One night I was closing the place down with a swim and was almost the last person in the building. Nobody in the locker room, but I could hear a shower on. Walked into the shower and assumed that some a shat had just left it on. As I got closer though, I saw a shadow. I just went into the shower stall I was adjacent to. Men's showers so no doors. There was a man there leaning hard against the wall with a hard on out front and one hand reaching down behind his back. When I turned on my shower he froze, turned facing me in shock, and I watched a 10 inch dildo flop out of his butt and hang between his legs. He then proceeded to drop it and awkwardly try to kick it to the side so I wouldn't see it when he picked it up. I can't unsee it. I'm gonna assume that he never returned to the gym? There's this guy me and my old lifting partner used to call Asian guy. He's this guy that's like about 6 feet 1, if I had to guess, super lean, widest lats and biggest traps I've ever seen. Anyway I always used to look forward to watching him lift and for a while would make sure I was scheduling when I got to the gym for when Asian guy got there because for months at least 6 times a week he would exclusively train legs. And by exclusively train legs I mean he would be at the squat rack for no less than 3 hours. I'd always just kinda hang around to see if he would do anything else a little after my own workout and for that period of time he never did. Until one day I was doing a push workout and was doing lateral raises. I was using 15s or something really light for a warm up and between squat sets he came over to the dumbbells and repped out like 3 reps of 50 pounds lateral raises. So I looked at him weird, and he saw me, and ran over to rep out another 5 reps of 365 pound squats. I was so stoked I saw him doing something other than squatting, that I told my friend I saw Asian guy doing lat raises trying to one up me, and he responded by saying he did the exact same thing to him with the exact same exercise. Anyway after a few months he started doing an actual normal rotation of push pull legs which was far less entertaining and somewhere along the way he started using locker number 69 which is the one I usually use so I've started trying to go before he gets there. I miss Asian guy. I'm thinking he liked you. Missed opportunity there dude. The signs were there. He took your 69 for goodness sake. There is a 20 something very fit guy at my gym who works out extremely hard. Lots of weighted pull ups, stuff on one leg, jumping rope, etc. I surmised that he was either into martial arts or obstacle course stuff. One day I'm on the treadmill looking out into the parking lot. I suddenly notice a small tree shaking violently. It's the guy, blindfolded, doing pull ups on a tree limb. But the tree was really way too small, so his feet were hitting the ground. It was a miracle he didn't bring the limb down. He took off the blindfold, looked very embarrassed, and casually walked back into the gym. But why was he blindfolded? The weight witch. Lady walks in on a Saturday morning. I've never seen her there before. She was significantly overweight, but had on gloves and knee braces, so I figure she's a power lifter on a bulk. I'm warming up doing some cable internal rotations and have my headphones on, so I don't see that she sets up at the cable machine behind me. I finish my set and turn around, and I see her getting ready. She's got a straight bar attached to the cable machine with the arm down near the ground and the bar on the floor. She half crouched, squatted in front of this thing, and I'm thinking she's about to do some kind of squat when she starts waving her hands. As in, the kind of hand waving a wizard does when he's imitating someone imitating Bob Fosse-esque jazz hands. I couldn't stop watching. She did this for at least 30 seconds before she grabs the bar to start her exercise, and when I say grab the bar, I mean pick it up with both hands, extend it until it gets resistance from the weight, and then start standing up and half squatting crouching. She wasn't engaging any weight, she was just using the bar as something to hold in her hands as she stood up and crouched down slightly. She did this for 3 sets and then moved to some cardio machines. 
I saw her a few times after that, each time doing something equally nonsensical, and always, always with the incantation hand motions. I miss her, and hope she found a nice coven. I can only imagine what was going through her head that morning. Feeling good, haven't been to the gym in years, possibly decades, but today is the day. I'll start my routine with my usual non-weighted bar for balance squats, and then I'll do an introductory one minute on each cardio machine at the gym. It'll be great. Not really weird, but this huge guy was weightlifting at the gym I frequent and he farted, and it was the longest fart I've ever heard. Like at least 30 seconds long. He couldn't stop giggling like a little girl, and then everyone else started laughing and clapping like he just performed a theater piece. It was surreal. I was on the treadmill once, had to fart, let a little bit go to see if they were gonna be noisy, I didn't hear anything so proceeded to fart my way through the rest of my cardio, eventually it dawned on me, I had headphones in. Skeleton of man was psyching himself up for a 225 pound squat, deep breaths, loud grunting, and smelling salts included. Proceeded to get under the bar, squatted what seemed less than a half rep, more like a quarter rep with bad form, re-racked the weight, and proceeded to yell, F yeah, as if he was at a powerlifting meet. I think he had too much pre-workout him ho. Oh god, pre-workout. There's a guy at my gym I would describe as the Incredible Hulk but not green. Dude is huge. I swear to dog this pre-workout is like, the souls of infant children or something. There's this guy, that does interval training on the treadmill hilariously wrong, it looks like he's trying to imitate Roadrunner from Looney Tunes. Imagine someone upping the speed on the treadmill so much, that they have to hold onto the railings, to keep from flying off. That's how this guy sprints on the treadmill. The stride of his legs is ridiculous as well, his heels are legit halfway up his back on each stride. That reminds me of this jokey run I used to do as a kid, where I'd kick myself in the ass with each step, just because it was fun. Don't forget to like this video, and follow this channel to hear more edit